Okay, next one. <laughs> that was weird. Surely there'll be no more weird shit going forward. There can't uh, possibly uh, be more weird wait, shit. No. This is a fun one too, but for more plain reasons. Okay. And we got a fiver here. Makes sense. I'm at. You said there was like two four stage runs. I don't imagine we're gonna get any more after this. No. <coughs> <sighs> Just on a trip down from heaven. All right, and Sukuna's being basically her tra uh, her travel guide to the world below. Huh, okay. Travel guide to all the people that you should totally punch with your sword. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and first up, is that really good and unfamiliar? Who still has one really nice vanilla dojin that I need to go find out, find again. God damn it. Yeah, it's about the size of it. So also, I guess, people, I guess people are being wholesome with a nun, which is a strange thought. It's the I've only found like one, and that's it. Actually, frankly, she has like nothing out there. <laughs> She's not a popular character. That's unfortunate. She seems like she has a lot of good poten uh, potential. It really depends on the art of the given game because mm -hmm. she did not look good in the art of her introdu of her introductory game, which I mean, yeah. Zoo, what characters all do? Which, I mean, yeah, sure, Zoo and whatever, but now there's a handful of... This is when his art was actually start, starting to get good, and it did eventually get uh, nice and polished after a bit. As so now shit is actually nice and clean and does look good, e even in his signature style. That's good. I mean, yeah, he found his rhythm eventually. <laughs> I Boy, think, you have... <laughs> I think maybe he should eventually invest in art lessons, but hey, he's it's good shit. I'm gonna give you a bonus for later. Okay. Future Babs, look up Yuka Kazumi from Seho. S E I H O U. I know that series. I've heard that series before. It was a side project between Toho 5 and 6 because there was a five a four year break from 98 to 2002 before he started working on Windows computers. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So he diverted with a, uh, with a side project, and um, you'll see how particular his art can get. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you what image you're looking for, but you're gonna know what it is immediately when you see it. Gotcha. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. I don't think I've seen your delinquent celestial. <laughs> I guess he, I guess they're even I guess even angels can be brats. Is the general idea. Oh uh, yeah, those peaches on her hat are apparently supposedly the most What's the delicious thing in the in the universe or something, yes. Yep. There's and they're in the real peaches too. There's there's not a lot to work with here. Yeah. Some characters literally only appear once ever. Yeah, in a in a story capacity, so it's hard to uh, so it's hard to uh, to get uh, to come up with more to talk about with them. I I I know she doesn't seem like she's been in more than one game in the past, honestly. I uh, but uh, she and Yukari hate each other, and the sort of uh, spit in your face, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's fun when that crops up in uh, extra material. Oh my god, she is actually that small. That's hilarious. Yes, she is called an inchling. Well, we're not quite uh, Bleach prototype Rukia level, but this is pretty on, pretty on the uh, tiny side, yeah. No, we're about at that level. This is uh, this is a sake bowl. Oh, I meant in terms of scale with the sprites. God, fucking fast though with the dash. Like That's Jesus. compensate for being so tiny and for not having uh, much in the way of kill moves. Yeah. I think theoretically you can just dash right through the fists. <coughs> Love how she exhausts herself when uh, doing that move. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, yeah, I don't know where she <laughs> literally exhausts herself after doing that. That's great. Futo or. Uh, or no, Nitori. Yeah. Like, yeah, like you'll see out of the backpack swing. Huge window of opportunity to punish. 
There we go. Now she got me. Oh. But that's okay. Because she's still in red. I've only really noticed this while I was at the end of, of the last story I did, but... I'm noticing that any stocks you do lose in <laughs> story... Nice. In story, uh, you don't regain them between rounds. No. Like, you don't regain your stocks until you get an actual game over. Oh, is that how that works? Yeah, I think so. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Or, like, not, well, I would say a game over, but when you actually do lose and you retry that, that particular fight, you do get all your stocks back. I guess we'll see it for sure when the next round starts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm an angel bitch. I could easily beat up a cloud and a turtle. So, <laughs> she's calling the inchling a, wait. Well, actually, who is your partner right now? I think about it. Sukuna, the oh. little, uh, the, little, the girl in the book. Oh yeah, right. Okay, she said that she's worthy of being her partner, which is amazing considering that she seems uh, a little full of herself. She's small, but she's fast, and that fast is the uh, the strongest candy in the universe. <laughs> Fair enough. That's what that speed equivalent would be like. Also, hello once again, Joe Biden face. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know what you get yourself into, Jack. He finally signed the ceasefire, but not actually. <laughs> that was immediately uh, broken the same day. Fantastic. Rubber bullets, yay, awesome. Yeah, that's better. Anyway. No political commentary here, only religious commentary. Yep. <laughs> only religious wars yes. here. No, wait, no, 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 yeah, yes, religious commentary. Exactly. What will you take? Zionism. We will take Jerusalem! <sighs> I've always felt awkward about the Gaza mobile suits in Gundam Double Zeta that, uh, the ax uh, that the Axis Xeon forces use. Oh. Okay, I see that now. Yeah, I, I can see why. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what Mashimer starts, uh, starts piloting at first. Like, ah. Your dream world self was complaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sees all these people on the regular, but uh, but only the crazy, stupid versions of them. Yeah. Also, gotta say, I'm loving Dormy's uh, giant fucking Santa hat more and more, though. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what you'd call that. I think. Don't quote me on this, but I, th I think her true form is like some kind of a reptile. Dormy? I think so. I think I heard that was a thing. You can Google her if you want. I'm actually looking up what her regular art looks like, because she looks like she's supposed to be way more psyched than this art is, is making her out to be. I mean, you're not going to get any of that from Zoom either, but fan art will probably give you what you want. Fan art's a bit mixed. It really depends on the character. And yeah. If the art and if the artists take to the character. That, yeah. She has dojo material, I can tell you that much. I see some big tits for her, but not much. Yeah, it's whatever. I was just kind of curious because, like, she's got the legs that she she looks like she's probably tr supposed to be thicker than the manga artists make her out to be. Probably. But, like, it looks like the, uh, even regular artists have no fucking clue, so that's fun. There's a bit of a schism. Uh, with Toho 15 because designs are both are up and down and uh, most people especially of that persuasion Big damage most people of that persuasion took more towards the new extra rabbit girls before they took to the Gre uh, the dream girl or the moon general so go figure I guess so furries I mean, I mean, are you a furry if you're into raisin? Because it's more girls. Literally than not. Like that's that's like literally lowest denominator of furry you could possibly get. She has rabbit ears. Yeah. It's, okay. Yeah, it's more girls of raisin species. They don't look like her this time, but it's more girls of raisin's exact same species. So, think of that what you will. You want f rabbit girl that is actually marginally potentially furry? Look at carrot from One Piece. I thought you were gonna go into Fran, because she has the yeah. actual because she has the actual 
furry, hairy ears. I mean, I guess. And that makes it a little weirder. Like, but, like, that's still, like, okay, yeah. And I the mean, claws. I, and the claws. That's, like, not even, like, that out there, though. No, I guess not. I don't consider something to be, like, truly furry until you're... And that's the general level. Like, once you go quadrupedal and have a snout, that's when it's like, yeah, maybe you should run that back a little bit, buddy. Where are you seeing this art of people with snouts? Online in general. Because that's the one thing I... I'm not talking about anime right now. I'm just talking about in general. I'm sure, but that's the one thing I haven't come across before ever, is someone actually giving someone a snout. I've seen all fours. I've seen other weird crap. I know I've you've seen... seen personas before. Yes, but I've never seen any with a snout. I've seen this, more than a few. The crap you normally see is like dog people or cat people. Something most commonly in that area. Not in the pig or boar or whatever person. That's what I'm talking about. Or, the, well, not that. I'm talking about like dog, like, fursonas that have like dog snouts. Like, that's what they're called. <laughs> like the elongated mouth and nose section of the face. That's that's a snout. Mm. That, that's what I'm talking about. That's like that's a deep end of the pool. Raisin is nowhere near anywhere near that level. And if you did, and if you were gonna talk about raisin, there's like a fifth of the cast you'd have to eliminate by default. So, because like a fifth of the of the entire Toho cast is based on animals. Yeah. Animal yokai and the little... Actually, that's the funny thing, is that for a series that's uh, cast as mostly yokai, he, uh, Raisin is not in any way a yokai. She's not based on any mythical creature, she's just a person from the moon. Really? I thought, like, rabbits were traditionally associated with the moon or something. Yeah, but, like, there are ra there are rabbit yokai. Uh... Tay and all the other rabbits that live in the in the Ayente Mansion. Hmm. Because they come from Gensokyo. We have an, Yep, we got a dream duo going on. <laughs> I finally captured the Inchling. Now we can rule the world. Oh right, this is where this is where another funny comes in. There's two of them, and there might be a little mix-up. Oh boy. Oops. Okay, which one's the dream version? One of them has slightly lighter hair, I think. I don't see it. Actually, no, I can see it clearly. The one on the right has uh, darker purple hair and a more vivid uh, kimono, whereas the one on the left has uh, slightly lighter hair and a less uh, vivid and bright kimono. Yeah, I don't see it. They look almost... they're the exact same. These pictures are the same. You'll see it. It's especially visible in their sleeves. Uh, okay. That one of them just isn't as bright as the other one. Uh. God, everyone's gonna be losing their shit now. <laughs> the exactly uh, two comments that a Toho video is gonna get is gonna be full of the meme. Yep. Did Toho ever take off in any capacity? Uh... Or is this, or is this ju just a thing for the sake of entertaining me? Probably going more lean on, on the ladder. Toho, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Toho doesn't really usually get ma uh, many views on the channel, frankly, sometimes with the old... Some of the views we did in the past, like, they were lucky to get outside of single-digit views. That doesn't surprise me. That's... That, so, I haven't looked around in a while. I know One Piece traditionally does, uh, like... Pretty well these days. I mean, I would hope so. Yeah. I'm really curious to see what uh, Gundam's gonna do by the end. Eh, Gundam's been doing okay. Not, not amazingly. It's do it's doing way better than my Berserk shit. Obviously, gotta <laughs> take a while to get done. But it's also been pe uh, petering off a little bit too, which is fine. It it gets outside of. 0079 is gonna it usually tends to slow down a little bit. This might sound like it's in poor taste, but I think you might get an influx of viewers for Berserk. I did get one comment the other day, and that, that did kind of spook me suddenly. <laughs> really? Yeah. 
just because I was like, huh, they got a comment all of a sudden. Okay, great. I did a full let's play of the English translation of the PS2 game. I was, I'm oh, the only person to have done so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, they spelled her name wrong. It's supposed to be Shimyamaru. Hmm. I love when they do that. I guess it's a miracle. I guess I can call it a miracle that they actually got Moko's name completely correct. Yep. Sometimes the letter J can be confused with H, which we, which can be confused with Z. So in some really bad translations, it's not Fujiwara, it's Fuziwara. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I didn't know that, actually. I have to keep, have to keep it in mind. I know there is much more complications outside of just the... Uh, outside of just L and S. R. Oh, R, right. Yeah, there's a few of them, like uh, the letter V and the letter B, although that's more obvious when you uh, think about it for a second. Yeah, I've, yeah, holy shit, I've never seen the letter V anywhere in Japanese before, holy shit. Never thought about that, actually, huh. It's another one of those accent things. Yeah. I imagine that being a bit of a pain in the dick, yeah. Neat background, holy shit. Oh. I guess if it's, I, I guess this traditionalist uh, Chinese martial artist vibe does kind of fit the background, yes. We're on Mount Paozu. We pretty much are. It's a hermit. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> I too love myself some journey to the west. Or as we know it today, Dragon Ball. I'm sure some stories in... Have, uh, that tell that story have been localized in some way or another prior to Dragon Ball. The only other time I've seen Journey to the West done where it's not aping Dragon Ball to some capacity is, hello, is funny enough, actually Warriors Orochi 3, because they have their own son Goku, and who is a monkey. Yeah, but they call him by his proper name. Just Son, if I remember correctly. Son Wukong. Oh, that was it, yeah. Yep. Apparently those Orochi exclusive characters used to be in uh, Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors. Huh. <sighs> Orochi's got- yeah. Some of the- some of like the other category Orochi characters do actually come from other franchises. It's kind of nuts. But you well, gotta dig for them. They're like obscure IPs from Koei Tecmo. Warriors, Legends of Troy. Oh god, yeah. A game made by uh, Tecmo Koei Canada. Oh, Jesus. In 2008. Them boys really are... They really did pull a Smash Brothers on themselves, huh? <laughs> and, uh... Ryu Hayabusa. Never heard that man in my life. And, and a character... And one of the Dead or Alive characters that I think was actually one of the Virtua Fighter guest characters. The only time Virtual Fire and Dead or Alive have done a crossover was Sarah Bryant being in Dead or Alive. I think it might have been her. No, I don't think Sarah Bryant was in De is, was in Orochi. Because I think that crossover happened afterwards. Because there's only like two blonde characters. There's only like two or. Oh three no! I know, talking, I know who you're talking. I know who you're thinking of. Alive. I know who you're thinking of. Uh, what was her name? Anna. Uh, Helen. Helena. I think I was. Not, it. No, not her. It'd be a lot more obvious. It was Rachel. Her. That was her name. She, she was also playable in Orochi 3, and she was kind of fun. The girl in the gimp suit? Yeah. Huh. Blonde one, gimp suit, top mommy, yeah. Oh, right, she's from Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, she is. You sometimes forget that with the Dead or Alive characters, because their, their original IPs are either really obscure, or they ha just haven't been around in ages. Which I totally understand. In this day and age, I think most people... Mo more uh, would more often associate Ayane with Senran Kagura than with Dead or Alive. No, I think more people generally associate it, it, her with Indie with Dead or Alive. Although I imagine people more associate Ayane with just straight up porn nowadays too. There's that, but I guarantee you that. Oh, by the way, I it's, it's not impossible that for a time at least there was a certain contingent of people that was larger that bought the Ayane DLC for. Senran Kagura, Estival Versus, then at least for a time anyway, bought Dead or Alive 6. It's not impossible, but I wouldn't quite go that. 5, I think, is still a league, like more popular than 6, if I'm, not, if I'm not wrong. 
It's oh. to, it's wait, wait, look at your stocks. It's still the most modular game. Oh, that did happen. Yeah. So it looks like... Mo game theory correct. You know, the issue with trying to play Japanese games that, that you have little knowledge of is and usually only have like a really obscure fan base from like years ago is the fact that uh, it's hard to take oh, notes fuck. and re and relay them. Ah, shit. That's a fucking cannon. That is a... Gotcha! Okay, then. It's, it's the ghost of Gotcha coming to haunt us. No! I already got my bleach log in, damn you. Someone in Discord was saying something like a week or two ago that I play too many idol games. He was joke. He was joking. He pop posted afterwards. No, I just think it's funny. Yeah, I know it, it was pretty funny. But I'm just like, I'm just like, to be fair, he does post his his uh, repeat draws from Idle Master almost every day. To be fair, repeat. Yeah, I know you got a lot of duplicates in, in Idle Master. Oh, I only do that uh, when it's like, oh, hey, you got you got two or three of the same character that's gold rare or higher in a single ten pull. It's like, yeah, if I got two or three of the same character that's high rarity in a single pull, I think that's funny enough to warrant posting the screenshot three times. Yeah. By the way, this super attack chain with the shield up is pathetic. Holy shit, you're literally all piling it and you're dodging everything so effortlessly. Am I even hitting her? You are, actually. Like, I can see, like, that move is actually clipping her, but it's not doing a lot. You want to go, go with her up circle. What? Uh, well, no, not right now, not right now. Okay, never mind. She's dead. I guess that worked out. Like, the forward circle, the the top rock was actually, did have a hitbox that was connecting with her, but wasn't doing a lot. <laughs> no, your up circle uh, definitely is more geared towards hitting them when you're, they're above you. Ah. The problem is that it doesn't look like you have any good damaging options to hit them above you. Especially when they're behind the shield, mother of fuck. Tenshi's great at coverage, not at overall damage. Well, that's a problem though. Like, I haven't seen a lot of characters in this game so far, outside of like Marissa, who has good coverage options for characters above them or off the usual. App. That's another one of the problems with this game, with the fucking shield system. When you're out fighting an AI, that was one of the things that Miko did exceedingly well. Actually, was that she had like a 270 degree uh, beam spread. Yeah. But, like, Marissa had, like, essentially axe toss for the Belmonts in, uh, Smash. Where, like, but broken, it did, like, it did, like, residual damage. So that was, like, oh, shit, yeah. If <laughs> your enemy is, like, up and above you in the shield, you have a chance to actually, like, do consecutive damage to them. Whereas every other character we've played so far has no option like that. <laughs> so, as a result, it really becomes a war of fucking attrition. Now, that being said... If there are options that actually do a good amount of damage to someone when they're up and off your, like, your lane, quote-unquote, that'd be cool, but it does not look like that. No, not so much. Anyway, somewhere along the way, uh, the two inchlings got swapped, but T Tenchi never noticed. So she's like, hey, you sound a little different. Eh, whatever, it's cool. Yukari asked me if I'd become used to be being a slave. Yep. Yeah, again, the dialogue in this translation is a little fucky. No, no, no I'm, I'm okay with her asking me that. Oh, that is a very friendly interpretation of what the of what the gaps are supposed to look like. The poverty and pestilence will come down to your training. Your training as a slave. Okay, girl, woman, we need to work on this shit. <laughs> uh. You don't have a punching bag, so you can't train properly. So Yukari captured Reimu, I guess, and is now using her as a quote-unquote slave. Yeah. That sounds very on brand for her, actually. In fact, I'd be, 150%. I'd be surprised if she didn't do this to others. <laughs> Yukidoshi notwithstanding. Well, there's that, but there's also the fact that she already has two, uh, two underlings and the, uh, and the other girl boss characters. That are in this game have already been partnered with their uh, with their existing underlings. Yeah. So she doesn't need to go to Rainbow. She just thinks it'll be funnier if she goes to Rainbow. That and to be fair, that is kind of funny. Because <laughs> she already has Ron and also and Chen. God, there's so much dress on the screen right now. <laughs> Sorry. I would continue to be amazed by the amount of poof in the dresses for Toho characters. You expect that someone coming down from literal heaven wouldn't be dressed this immaculately? 
I mean, look what we're dealing with here. A lot of a lot of fabric on the screen, like more so than actual background. I mean, isn't that true most of the time? I mean, more so right now than usual. <laughs> and also a shit ton of hair. Why do you have to appear at this moment? Fair enough. Also, I already got that. Huh, I've never noticed that there's actually been like the whole ice thing like attached to some of her clothing. Interesting. Yep. Like right back there. In the middle. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, so Tenshi is the only person that Yukari doesn't put up any sort of an act for. She's just like, get the hell out of here. Yeah. <laughs> just straight up. To be fair, no formalities of any kind. Some sort of ascended being would probably be a bit more of an issue for Yukari than like just a regular human or yokai. It's not that she can't deal with her; it's that she finds her uh, more uh, more repulsive than anyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, those liter uh, literally staring down at you from heaven, and those who are only who are cursed to only be able to look on from below. Yeah. It does seem to be of a heaven and hell dichotomy right now, yes. That was sort of one of the things that was spurred on by Ten, because Tenchu first appeared in 10.5, which is where uh, Heaven first made its debut. Hmm. Although that was also the game where Tenchu thought it would be funny to drop a big rock on Reimu's house. And as we all know, that's the chain of events that would, for that would bring with it. <laughs> so yeah, she thought that would be a smart idea. Why did you do it? Felt like it. Yeah, it makes sense for the series. Oh, yeah, and she also figured out that uh, her guide wasn't the real one. She's like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Still useful for me, so it's cool. As long as we're strong, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and apparently they've, uh, they've, uh, they somehow also have access to the ability to swap on the fly, which is something they're not supposed to be able to have. We're breaking the rules, boys! Yeah, something about uh, your tag button is non-canon. <laughs> How's that for gameplay story segregation falling on its fucking face? Fair enough. <sighs> this is the first and only time that when you fight her, Yukari has a partner. No, that's not true. I think there was another prior run where she did have Rainbow Ari as an assist also. Did she? I think so. I think it was actually during my previous playthrough as well. Nah. Oh, I keep forgetting about the fucking charge moves. Damn it! I need to use use those. Yeah, they're a big help, and they definitely will be later on. Yeah. Ah, almost got that too. Now, if you add some sort of button that could, like, do a lot more, like, guard damage, that'd be cool. That combo? Yeah, still chip damage. Just be careful. Uh, actually, really be careful right now, especially because you don't have any more stocks until you get your next game over. This is a three-round fight, so yeah, I'm not gonna win it. This is a three-rounder? Yukari fights typically are. Oh, seems to be a bit of a mixed bag for me. I thought... I mean, sometimes they're three, but it's not unusual for them to just be two. That might kill if... No, okay. No iframes, I see how it is. Yeah, that's sort of what I mean. I would uh, like to now bring attention to how there is a... Uh... With someone watching her sprites, Yukari is uh, wearing white uh, leggings underneath her dress, and that's uh, pretty, uh, <clears throat> pretty good stuff. But yeah, literally, like, the, the fights aren't even fights in the first phases, because you can just actually play them in, like, a fighting game. You can do decently well. There's not really much of a way to get uh, a traditional sort of challenge out of these things, no. Sure you can. You can just make it so you don't do nearly as much I, fucking damage to I them. I mean, with the existing settings. With the game as it currently exists. It really doesn't know if it wants to be more of an, like, an actual, like, fighting game or if it wants to be more of a Toho game. It's like it's this really, really weird trying blend. to compromise the two concepts and I don't think they work. And even in their third attempt, I don't know if it ever worked. Super, super, super. Okay. Ooh. 
Good shit. That might be one of the best super activations in the game because it starts out as an individual hit before going into the big damage. Uh, maybe. There's... Nah, actually, I think Morris's might be better because of the big fuck-off beam. That's that activation, not overall yeah. attack. Now, if we were actually logging the damage these things do, then maybe we could actually come find some ones that are actually better than the rest of the flock. Yukari! Now slaves are free. Okay. Hmm. There's definitely not proofreading going on with these scripts. And or translations, depending on how you want to call them. There's a reason I could do Wang translation half the time. It kind of does. So fortunately, you still take damage when your partner's tagged out. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you have any good options, but it looks... I mean, there is the possibility of using, like, a bigger projectile to rip right through the bullets. That could be an option. There's also the L1 me uh, meter burn guard that can uh, block everything, pretty much. But there's, like, no blind spots here, really. If it were a regular Toho game, this would be fucking fine, because you can fi easily slip between the, the, the uh, cracks. Super, super, super... All right, cool. Yay! There we are. Was that the last fight? It only really felt like the last fight. No, I think we got one more. Oh Jesus! Okay. If there's a Yukari oh no, that, that was a final fight. No, if there's a Yukari fight, it's oh no, never mind. Because like anytime we fight Yukari, there's always it never ends on on a three or it never ends on just a two fighter. And anytime we fight Yukari, it's always in this area and as a precursor to a fight with uh, the Curse Gods. Yeah. I think I'm definitely gonna have the Curse Gods in my next playthrough, though. Yeah, you are. Yep. So anyway, this, upside down. so anyway, this is, this is heaven. This explains that one background stage we've had so far, where it looks like a castle is upside down. Yep. Anyway, this castle can just move and go wherever and do whatever. Huh. Okay. So it's like, yeah, that was all fun, whatever. Anyways, I'm tired. Let's go home. I would not trust an outside, upside down castle for life of me. I'm sorry. <laughs> just the constant fear that the roof is going to give way and you're just going to fall. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. Well, no, she specializes in making in uh, floating stones. Yeah, it's fair. It's kind of her superpower. Which I think is actually kind of a downgrade because her servant's ability is to <laughs> control lightning. All of Earth is originally under control of the Celestials anyway. Ah, more lore for the two who backstory. I'm really glad that someone didn't fuck up this translation and call it the Celestial Dragons. Oh god. Wouldn't be impossible, that's for sure, knowing some fan translations. I can see someone making that mistake. Yeah. <sighs> I I don't know if I'm real or a dream or not. You don't know if you're real. Have you tried sleep, my friend? <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's harking back to the thing we literally just watched, Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> I don't know if I'm real or not. Hmm. Is your brain real? Do you have a plug in your neck? <laughs> that movie was a trip. I dream when I'm asleep or awake. It's called daydreaming. Uh, well, your brain works, so I assume if you're not ex if you're not like emotionally outpouring every every living second, then I think you're probably not your dream version. Dreams only exist inside the mind. Is technically a true statement. Technically, unless you're in this series, in which case it seems to be an actual place you can go to. <laughs> She's <is> weird. Huh. <laughs> Anywhere, they, they're the strongest on Earth, despite one of them coming from heaven. Uh, okay. That seems like cheating. <laughs> yeah, kind of. 